happy May. So it was only a little bit of snow last night, right? <laughs> Actually, it's all gone. Um, we're going to work with the upper extremities a little bit um, today. Whenever we're working with the extremities, we still need to keep centered in the core. So of course, there will always be core work. And if we're trying to stretch in the extremities, we'll feel it's more effective if we're um, anchored in the core. If we are trying to strengthen the extremities, we'll find that it's more effective and safer if we're anchored in the core. So the core work always. And we're going to begin standing up doing the rotator cuff uh, isometrics. So pay attention to your standing position for a moment. Bring the feet parallel to each other. Find the triangle of support under each foot. Feel the ball of the big toe, the ball of the little toe, right the center of the heel. Lift the arch. Feel your legs lengthening. Bring your attention to the pelvic floor. Feel the pubic bone, the sit bone, the tailbone. At the moment, they're in orientation parallel to the floor and the ceiling. Gather in from those four points pulling in towards the perineum, lift the perineum up towards the crown, wrap your belt around, wrap your ribs around to the opposite back pockets, let the breastbone be lifted, drop your chin down and lift the very top of the head. So that's a neutral standing position. And you can keep light core work going as we do these isometrics for the arms. We're warming up the shoulder girdle, the rotator cuff to begin. Uh, let's begin by bringing the left elbow to the left side. We're going to hug it right into the body and make sure that we keep it touching the body. This is the arm we're working, left arm. We're going to resist with the right arm. So make a fist with the right hand and place it into the left palm. And then as you exhale, be sure you keep your left elbow on your side. Exhale and press your left palm into your right fist. No movement, isometrically engaging. And then wrap your left fingers around the fist and externally rotate, isometrically pulling out. So if you didn't have the resistance there, you'd be opening out and then pushing in. But we're going to resist against the fist. Again, exhale for internal rotation, pressing into the fist. And then wrap the fingers around the fist and pull out, keeping the right arm stable. Again, press into the fist, internal rotation. And pull out against it, external rotation. Do that one more time. Press in, isometric internal rotation. And then pull out, isometric external rotation. And relax. Let both arms come down. We establish your equal stance on your feet. Your lifted stance through the torso with all that support from the pelvic floor, the transversus, the obliques. And then let's work the right arm. Bring the right elbow to the right side. Pull it in close. Be sure that it stays in contact with your side the whole time. We're going to resist with the left fist. Bring the left fist to the right palm. And as you exhale, press your right hand into your left fist. Then wrap the fingers around the fist and pull out away from the center line with the right arm. External rotation. Press in. And then pull out. External rotation. And push the right hand into the left fist. Wrap the fingers around it. Externally rotate. Pull out. One more time. Press into the fist. And then pull away. And then relax. Now we're going to go to a wall for the final version. What we're going to be doing is a snow angel movement against the resistance of the wall. So begin by bringing your left hand to the wall. And you're going to have a little bit of space between your arm and your body. Engage the core and then press up into the resistance of the wall. Try not to let yourself be displaced. Exhale, press up. The center line of the body stays perpendicular to the floor and the ceiling. And then release. And again, press. And relax it. And one more time, press. Stay tall through the center. Then you're going to use your 
of core muscles and release. And then we'll turn around and do the other side. Lengthen up through the center, engage the core, and then press the right hand into the wall and release. And press as they're going to do a snow angel, but the wall gets in the way, and then release. Exhale, make sure your ribs stay steady as you press into the wall, and release. And one more time, press and release. And relax the arms. And we'll do a simple external rotation, standing well on the feet, tall through the center line of the body, thinking of what's happening at the shoulder joint. Roll your arm out in the socket. So feel that external rotation. It's going to turn your palms out, but I want you to concentrate at the shoulder. Gently squeeze the shoulder blades and then relax. And again, roll the arms out in the socket. Way up high in the, at the arm, um, the top of the arm in the shoulder joint, and then release. Again, roll the arm out. Now notice as you roll your arms out, your chest automatically lifts and opens a little bit. And then release. This is a great counter pose for life, basically. Almost everything we do is oriented forward and rounded, so this gives us an opening. Excellent thing to do if you're gardening, Computing, driving, cooking, sewing, writing, I mean anything you can think of that brings you forward. Get up from that activity and just do this a few times. Super simple. And relax. Okay, I'm going to come down onto the back. Come into constructive rest pose. The knees bent, feet in line with the sit bones, arms relaxed at the sides. Let yourself relax into the floor. As you relax, feel the feet in contact with the floor. Notice the back of the pelvis. Notice that your lumbar curve is in its neutral curve. There's a little space there between the back and the floor, probably. The back ribs are down into the floor. Shoulder blades flat and broad. Back of the head, see if it's actually the center of the back of the head is in contact with the floor, or you can place a towel behind your head if you need a little support for the neck. Let everything relax. And let's work with the inner core to stabilize our arm lifts. Picture that pelvic floor. Again, it's anchored on the tailbone, the sit bones, and the pubic bone like a diamond. Inhale, picturing the diamond of the pelvic floor. Exhale, gather it into the center, squeeze the sphincters, lift the perineum. Maintain that pelvic lift, and you may, may need to re-engage it. And then find your transversus abdominis, the big belt, and wrap it around low. It comes across the hips like a, a hip hugger pants, and then snug it tight across the hips, coming um, like the buckles beneath the belly button. Feel your pelvis, lower back stabilized, and inhale, bring your arms to the ceiling. We're just in the inner core, so as you reach back, this time I want you to relax your arms and go ahead and let the ribs move as they naturally do if you don't stabilize them. You can feel that you can keep your neutral lower back curve, but your shoulder, um, your ribs may come up off the floor. Float the arms up, so keeping the arms soft, and then lower the arms down to the side. We're going to do another one like that. Let everything relax. Then reconnect with the inner core. Find the pelvic floor, the belt. Keep your arms soft, so you can intentionally bend the elbows a little bit. Let the wrists and the fingers be soft. Just in the inner core, find that pelvic floor transversus support as your arms go back, and perhaps your ribs are going to pull up away from the mat a little bit. But try not to let your pelvis move. And float the arms to the ceiling, and then relax them down to the side. So we're going to add our obliques in, keeping the neutral spine, and feel the difference between the stretch we get in the shoulders if we stabilize the whole torso. So now we're going to keep the arms straight. Inhale, bring the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, engage the inner core, and then at the same time, pull your front ribs together. Let your back ribs reach down to the mat. Reach back with straight arms and keep the back ribs down on the mat. Totally different experience around the armpits, I imagine. Inhale, arms float up. And exhale, arms come down to the sides. Let's do that again. Inhale.
hovering the arms to the ceiling. Engage with the inner core. Knit and imprint the ribs. Keep your arms straight and reach back. Now, if you're keeping your arms straight and you're really tight in your shoulders, you might not get to the mat. Don't bend at your uh, arms to get to the mat for now. I want you just to actually feel that stretch against the anchored core. Inhale, bring the arms up. And exhale, lower the arms down to the sides. Now we're going to add a little head lift to that peak one. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, engage the core, knit and imprint. Keep your arms straight as you reach them back. Maintain your neutral spine and make sure your ribs don't peel away from the mat. Inhale, arms float up. And we're going to go into a head lift with the exhale, keeping the neutral spine, lifting up and bringing the hands outside of the thighs. You want to keep your lower back in its natural curve. Inhale, your head down. And anchor as you exhale and reach back. Arms stay straight. Pelvis is stabilized. Ribs are stabilized. Inhale, arms float up. And again with the exhale into a little head lift. Neutral lower back curve. Inhale, head down. Arms up. And stabilize. Keep the arms straight as you reach back. And inhale, arms float up. And exhale. Take your head lift. Now we're going to bring the hands around behind the head on our inhale and do the crazy fish. Exhale, side bend to the left side, keeping the breastbone open towards the ceiling. Inhale to the center. Exhale, side bend to the right side. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend right. This is for the obliques. They're key in our shoulder stability. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center. And exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center, and lower the head down. Arms to the ceiling. Straighten the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. And then reach your fingertips up to the ceiling. Feel your shoulders pull away from the mat, and then very slowly, like they're melting, drop your shoulders down, and then let the femoral head settle into the shoulder sockets. And reach up again. And slowly melt the shoulders down into the mat and feel your shoulder, sorry, your arm bones drop down into the shoulder joints. One more time, reach up and then settle the shoulders and drop the humeral heads into the sockets and then make some small circles with your arms. Keep the arms straight, humeral head just rolling around that um, shallow shoulder socket and reverse. And then let's keep the arms relaxed in the vertical position. Your humeral head's dropping. We're going to go into the alternate leg lifts. Engage the inner core. Knit your ribs around towards the opposite back pocket. Imprint the back ribs down into the floor. Keep the shoulders relaxed, even with all that core support. Lift the right foot up. And then lower down. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Pelvis steady. Anchor and lift the left foot up. Make sure that the pelvis is stabilized, the lower back is stabilized, lower back down. Anchor and inhale, take the right foot up, keep the shoulders relaxed, even while you're using the low core muscles, and inhale to, uh, exhale to lower down, sorry. Inhale, lift the left, and exhale to lower down, stabilize. We're going to do it one more time. Stay relaxed as you stabilize and lift the right. Exhale, anchor, lower down. And bend the left. And lower down. And relax. Let's keep the shoulders relaxed. Return to the inner core engagement. The knitting and printing of the ribs. Float the right foot up. Keep your shoulders easy. Keep imprinting. And take the left foot up off of the mat. Keep it up. And we're going to pistons. Exhale, tilt the right leg down, tap the toe, and inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap the left toe down. Inhale, left it, lift it up. So we want a stable, neutral spine, neutral pelvis, back ribs imprinted, shoulders relaxed. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, and exhale to lower. One more set. And let's put one hand on each knee, drop the knees out wide, and circle your thighs around your hip sockets. Now you're using your arms, but it doesn't mean you need to tense your shoulders. And then reverse, keep the shoulders dropped, and 
on the thighs, nice and loose. And return the legs to neutral tabletop. Soften the shoulders. Lower the right foot down. And lower the left foot down. Now we re-engage our little core. Bring the left foot up. Imprint. Bring the right foot up. Hands down to the sides. We're going to press the palms down. In the hundred, we want to have the arms straight. You're actually engaging your triceps to straighten your arms out here. So find the inner core, knit and imprint the ribs to lift the head. Press down into the floor, active arms, extend the legs. Exhale for five, pulses of the arms, and inhale. Exhale for five, and inhale. Keep the arms active, shoulders dropping. Exhale for five, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. Think of your shoulders dropping down towards the floor. Your chin stays in towards your chest. Exhale for five. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. Bring the knees into the chest. Give them a hug. Put your head down. Relax your neck and turn your head slowly from one side to the other. Bend the head to the center. Bring both knees over toward your left side. And we're going to stretch your hip and your shoulder. Turn your face over to the right. Bring your right arm up to your side with the palm up. Fingertips are on the floor. As you exhale, gather your low core muscles. So wrap your belt around to stabilize on the sacrum. And then as you inhale, drag your fingertips up along the floor. If you can't quite touch the floor, a couple inches off is OK. But stay within the range of motion where you can keep your hand low to the floor. And then we're going to exhale and turn the palm down, sweep the arm back down. And turn the fingertips up and sweep in a nice wide arc. Honor the range of motion in your body. And then exhale, bring the arm back down. One more time, turn the palm up, sweep in a big wide arc. And then turn the palm down and sweep down. Good, let's bring the knees back into the center. Pause for a moment there. Let the shoulders relax, the knees into the chest, the lower back can go flat for a moment. Relax your neck. And we'll drop both knees over to the right side. Bring the left hand down low. Fingertips on the floor, palm towards the ceiling. Turn and look left. And then sweep your left fingertips around. Describe a nice wide arc. And then turn your palm down and sweep the hand back down. And turn the palm up. Fingertips on or near the floor. Describe this wide arc off to the left side. And lower down with the palm. Turn down one more time. Sweep the left arm. Palm up as it sweeps up. And palm down as it sweeps down. And then let's bring the knees into the center. Hug the knees in, lengthen the back of the neck, lengthen the lower back. And then we're going to bring the right knee into the chest and straighten the left leg out long on the floor. Draw the right knee to the breastbone. And extend your right leg up to the ceiling. Get your tailbone down on the floor, pelvis level, anchor around your neutral spine, and circle the leg five times, keeping your pelvis and your ribs anchored. And then reverse and go five times the other way. Now we're going to keep the right leg straight and lower it all the way down to the floor. Pull your ribs strongly together as you lower down. Keep your neutral back curved. Once your foot's down, relax. And then pull the left knee into the chest. So in this initial stretch, the back can go flat. And then we're going to extend the left leg up. Now the tailbone's down, neutral pelvis, anchor, and circle five times. Keeping your pelvis still, keeping your ribs still. And then reverse. And then we'll keep the legs straight, keep those ribs imprinting, and lower the leg, left leg all the way down to the floor. Here's 
stretch out long with both legs extended and reach both arms up overhead. Reach long from fingers to toes. Exhale, pull your belly button to your spine. Wrap your belt around it and imprint your ribs and flatten your spine down towards the mat. Relax that. Now we're going to stretch the sides. Walk your feet to the left. Tilt your upper body to the left. Take a hold of your right wrist and put your right foot over your left. And then breathe here, weight reaching your right hip down towards the mat, reaching your right ribs down towards the mat, stretching the right side. You have to anchor in the center here to stretch. If you let the hip rise, you're going to totally lose the dynamic tension that you're creating. So make sure that you've got your center anchored and stretch away from the anchored core. So we come back up into the center, stretch long, and then walk the feet to the right and tilt the upper body to the right. Now we're going to get the left hip and rib down, holding the left wrist, crossing the left ankle over the right, and reaching down through the left hip, the left rib to stretch the left side. You can feel how you need to anchor in the center to get the stretch in the extremity. And then come to the center and stretch long. Float the arms to the ceiling. Lower them down to your sides and bend your knees. Return to constructive rest pose. Okay, we're going to turn uh, onto the left side now. Lengthen all the way out long on your left side. Make sure that your um, neck and shoulder are comfortable. You can slide a towel between your arm and your ear if you like. Feet slightly forward of the hips, not too far forward, but we want to have a little bit of a cur um, angle there so that your neutral spine's in place and you can hold your, um, in, hold your in, uh, stacked engagement here. So we're going to tilt the right hip a little forward, place the right hand on the right waist, soften as much as you can there, imagine your organs dropping down towards the floor, take an inhale, and as you exhale, lift your organs up towards the ceiling, feel how that moves up towards the hand in the right waist, wrap your belt around. Then we're going to lift both legs up off of the mat. Take a moment, I want you to feel the tone between the hips and the ribs, and then lift and lower the top leg five times. Make sure you're anchoring with your abdominals, not your neck and shoulders. And then lower the bottom leg five times up and down. Fingertips can go on the mat in front of you if that helps. We're going to leave the bottom leg down and just move the forward leg uh, the top leg forward and back by itself. You can feel between the hip and the rib that you're going to keep them stable. Five times forward and back. No counterbalancing with the neck and shoulders. Then to the center for five circles in each direction. And reverse. You're re-engaging your belt and your organ lift constantly. We're going to externally rotate the top leg, lift it up with the toes pointed, and then flex the foot and come back down. Staying externally rotated. Point and lift, and flex and come down. Point up, flex down, point up, flex down, and over time. And move to parallel rotation. Re-engage your inner core muscles. Lift your bottom leg up to meet the top leg, and then flex your feet back. Squeeze your toes and point your toes. Span your toes. Flex them back. Squeeze. Point. Span. Flex. Squeeze. Point. Span. Flex. And reverse it with the toes open. Reach out. Squeeze the toes and pull back. Open. Reach out. Squeeze the toes and come back. Again, reach. Squeeze and come back. 
and release. Okay, we're going to relax the neck and shoulders for a moment. And now we're going to take um, our side push up. Your left hand comes to the top waist. You're going to press your left palm down into the floor. Engage your inner core and then straighten the leg. I'm oh, sorry, straighten the arm and then lower back down. Do, the, do a set of five. And then I want you to pause, reset the core, and then do five more. Try to pull your right shoulder down away from your ear. And then release. Bring the left hand back down onto the floor. Bend your knees so that they're comfortably bent. Right arm, wherever it's comfortable, we're going to do some neck work here. So we'll begin by keeping the neck and shoulder relaxed, and then side bending your neck so you bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, and then lower back down. Right ear to the right shoulder, and lower back down. This is for the neck. Keep the abs soft. One more time, side bend, right ear to right shoulder, and then relax. Now we're going to turn and look down at the floor. So your nose and your forehead are going to be on your left arm. And then you're going to slide your nose forward, tilt the head back so the back of, head, back of the head is moving towards your right shoulder. And then tilt your chin under. And again, slide the nose forward so you nod the head. And then lower it down like you're smelling your armpit. Slide the nose forward. And bring it back down one more time. And down. Okay, relax the head into the center for a moment. And then we're going to rotate the head and look up to the ceiling. So now the back of the head's on the left arm. And then nod your head, chin towards the right shoulder. And lower back down. And nod. And lower. Nod. And lower one more time and relax back into the center. A little more work for the shoulder girdle. Bend the right arm, placing the right elbow at the waist. If you have a one pound weight, you can use that in your hand. We're going to keep the elbow at the side and externally rotate, lifting the hand towards the ceiling and then lower down. Lower down slowly with resistance. Roll the arm out in the socket, and lower back down. And lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. We want the neck relaxed. Lift, and lower. That was five. We're going to do two more sets of five. Rolling the arm out in the socket. Might not feel like much at first, but you may begin to feel a little bit of work, especially as you roll in, perhaps. And another set of five. And then relax the arm. You can either place your fingertips on the floor in front of you or your hand on your hip for the clamshells. We're going to find the inner core using the belt, but keep the waist relaxed. Make sure that your right hip is a bit forward. And let's do 10 rotations of the right leg in the socket here, keeping the right hip forward. If you can have your hand on your hip point, you can make sure that your hip point keeps forward into your fingertips and doesn't peel away. Do five more. Bend the legs to 90 degrees. Again, make sure that the right hip is forward, neck and shoulders are relaxed. Find your belt. Keep your organ lift relaxed. So we're not going to, we're going to try to just use the transversus, not the oblique. And roll out in the socket 10 times here. And let everything relax. So 
So open the front of the hips so you have very great hip flexion. Your knees are bent, your feet are behind you, feet directly under the forehead. Engage your inner core. Draw your organ lift into the action now too. And 10 times externally rotate here. We're going to come into a comfortable bent knee position and then from there displace the top leg a little forward, the, sorry, the bottom leg a little forward, the top leg a little back and sit up. So we're in the mermaid sit. Let's drop the left forearm down to the floor. Find your belt and reach your right arm up over your ear. Stretching long through your right side, drop your right sit bone down towards the floor. Keep your right arm straight. Really feel that stretch along the side. And then come up, right hand to the right foot, and side bend. Stretch the left side, and sit tall then again. Left forearm to the mat, stretch up and over with the right arm. Keep it straight and drop the right sit bone down. Keep your breastbone open like it's trying to spiral towards the ceiling. And then sit tall, right hand to the right foot, and side bend. And again, left forearm to the mat, reach away, stretch the right arm, drop the right hip, spiral the breastbone, try to keep the arms straight, and come up, lift the left arm and side bend, sit tall, and we're going to bring the right hand to the left knee, turn and look all the way over the left shoulder. Feel how your breastbone is spiraling around, spiraling around to the left. Keep that action, but turn your head and look out over the right shoulder, and then drop your right ear towards your right shoulder, stretching the right, uh, sorry, the left side of the neck. Bring the head upright. Come on out of your twist. Turn around so you're sitting with both feet on the floor, hands on the thighs, engage your low core, then lift your breastbone up away from your navel, and then exhale, soften that. And press into your cat, your shin bones, and lift the chest up, and soften that. Take this back gently around, don't overemphasize the round, just a gentle round. One more time. Press into the legs and lift the chest. And gently relax that. Now I'm going to take the arms out to the front, pop in the shoulders, scoop the belly, and roll one vertebra at a time down onto the floor. See if you can keep your feet down on the floor. Roll through your whole spine. And stretch back with the arms and lengthen out long with the legs. And lower your arms down. And then we'll come to turn onto the right side. Neck and shoulders comfortable. Feet a little forward of the hips. Top hand on the waist if you can. Or if your balance is not good today, you can take your fingertips onto the mat in front of you. And engage the inner core first. Then take an organ lift, feeling the organs lifting up towards the ceiling. Squeezing the inner thighs, lift both legs up, top leg up and down five times. Bottom leg down and up five times. Leave the bottom leg down. Re-engage your inner core and your organ lift forward and back with the top leg. Keep stabilizing your shoulder girdle. And then we're going to circle five times. And the other way five times. Make sure that your ribs and hips are maintaining a really steady relationship to each other. Then externally rotate that top leg. 
Keep your organ lift going. Point the toes as you lift the leg. Flex your foot and come down. Stay in external rotation. Point and lift. And flex and come down. Point up. Flex down. Point up. Flex down. Do it one more time. Then come to parallel rotation. Re-engage the core. Lift your bottom foot up to meet the top one. Flex the feet back and squeeze the toes tight. Point the toes and fan the feet back. Squeeze the toe. Point. Fan the toes. Flex back one more time. Reverse. Keep the toes open. Reach out. Squeeze the toes and pull back in. Open toes and reach. Squeeze and retract one more time. And release down. Soften. We're going to take our side push-ups. Take your right hand around to the left waist. Left hand on the floor in front of the shoulder. Engage your inner core and your organ left. Push to a straight left arm. And let's do five there. Keep pulling your left uh, shoulder away from your left ear. Pause and reset and do five more. And then straighten the right arm down. Relax. Bend the knees to a comfortable bent knee position. Left arm wherever it's comfortable. Going to work with the neck first. So we begin with the face forward, your right ear and your right arm. And we're going to simply side bend. Lift the left ear to the left shoulder. Neck exercise. So keep the movement within the neck. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep the abdominals relaxed for this one. Relax. And then we'll rotate the head. So you're looking down towards the floor, forehead and nose on your right arm, and then slide them forward, nodding the head. And then tuck your chin under, nose towards the armpit. Slide forward, tilt the back of the head towards you, the space behind you, and lower. And slide the nose forward. Lift. And come back down one more time. Lower down, tuck your chin down, and then relax. And then let's rotate. Look up at the ceiling, and then tilt the chin towards the left shoulder, and release. Nod, and release. Nod the head, release one more time. And relax that. Let everything relax for a moment. And then left elbow onto the left waist. This is where you can hold a one pound weight. Keep the elbow to the side and externally rotate. Three sets of five. Nice and slow. Don't go down too close to the floor. We're trying to go up towards the ceiling and then down level with the um, hip, maybe a little bit lower, but it's not, we're not going all the way down. Control that movement down towards the Floor. Imagine you're kind of putting the brakes on as you bring your hand down. When you're done, relax the arm. If possible, we bring the left hand onto the left hip. Or if you need a little more support, fingertips on the floor in front of you. Engage your inner core, but keep your organ lift passive. So let your organs keep sagging down towards the mat, but keep your belt snug around your hip. And rotate the left leg out in the socket. Ten times. Keep wrapping that belt snug. When you're done, relax. And we'll bend the knees to 90 degrees. Relax the neck and shoulders. Soften the organ lift, engage the belt. And roll the leg out in the socket. Two sets of five.
and relax. And open out. Knees underneath you, feet behind you. Engage the belt and the organ lift and rotate again 10 times out in the socket, rolling the left leg out in the socket. Then release out of that, come to a comfortable position. And then we're going to displace the right knee forward and come up into the mermaid sit. Bend down so you have your right forearm on the mat. Drop your left sit bone towards the floor and reach up and over with the left arm. Keep the left arm straight. Feel your armpit going one way and your sit bone going the other. So you can really lengthen along your left side. And then come up. Left hand on the left foot as your side bend. And right forearm down again. Lengthen through the right side. Drop your sit bone down. Lengthen through the whole left side. And then come up. Left hand to the left foot and side bend. And once again, right forearm down. Drop the left sit bone, straighten the left arm, reach long. And sit tall, left hand to the left foot, reach up and over with the right arm. And lengthen up, and then we spiral, left hand to the right knee, turn and look as far over your right shoulder as you can. And then keep turning the breastbone in that direction. Reverse the turn of the head. Look out over the left shoulder and drop your left ear down towards the left shoulder. And bring the head upright. Come out of your twist. Sit tall with your legs extended out in front of you. Lengthen your arms up around your ears, root down to the sit bone, feel your pelvic floor, your belt, your ribs. Keep your arms around your ears, scoop the belly in, and come just a little bit um, into the dips end, but keep your arms framing your ears. Scoop the belly, and stay for a moment. Check if your feet want to go flopping out into extra rotation. Now keep them parallel. Draw the belly to the spine. And we're going to go down slowly. In increments, letting the arms come a little forward as you go one vertebra at a time through the spine, softening the shoulders. You can bring your hands even down as far as the outer thighs. Try to keep your feet down on the floor as you slowly descend, going through each vertebra. Once you're all the way down, we'll reach the arms up long. Lengthen from fingers to toes. And arms to the ceiling. Relax the shoulders and draw the knees into the chest. One hand on each knee, gently stretch the back, relax the neck and shoulders. Okay, we're going to turn to the stomach. Now we're going to begin in a cactus position, which is a right angle at the um, elbow. Let the legs be comfortable, arms in cactus. We'll turn the head one direction. You're resting on your cheek, relax the shoulders. Engage the inner core. Glide the front ribs together, and then lift your chest and head. Rotate the head into the center. Keep your low ribs on the mat. Gently press your forearms down, draw the breastbone forward, and lengthen the back of the neck so you're not tilting your chin up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to lower down and turn the head over the other direction, releasing into the floor, letting go of the core work. And regather, slide the ribs in, raise the chest and head, breastbone forward, keep the elbows down, the low ribs down, move the breastbone away from the belly button without straining the back of the neck. And then lower down and you head the first direction and relax. Set the core up again, we'll raise the chest and head. Breastbone forward, little pressure down through the forearms, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. 
and lower. Turn the head the second direction, relax. Set it up again, anchor and lift, breastbone forward. Now this time when we go down, please put your forehead down on the floor. Keep your elbows on the mat. We're going to, or, oh, sorry, on the floor probably, not your mat. We're going to keep the wrists and fingers nice and straight and lift the forearms up with the elbows staying down and then lower. And again, lift the forearms and lower. Elbows stay down, wrists straight and lift and lower one more time. And release. Okay, let's bring the arms down to the sides. Legs close together, palms turned up. Engage the inner core, glide the ribs. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Lift your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your legs. Everything up and lower back down. Again, anchor, lift. We're going to stretch in the front of the body, working the back of the body. Work those inner thighs together, work the shoulder blades together. And lower back down. One more time. Anchor and lift. And lower back down. Bring your hands underneath your forehead for a moment. Relax your legs. Let the core go. Release into the floor for a moment. Now let's extend the arms straight forward. Forehead on the floor. Engage the inner core. Slide the ribs together. Press the palms down and raise the chest and head. We're keeping the elbows down and bringing the breastbone forward. And then release. Good, anchor and do it again. Gentle pressure down through the palms. Draw the shoulders down the back, the breastbone, not the chin, but the breastbone forward. And release. One more time, we're gonna set up for swimming. Engage the inner core, glide the ribs in. Hands, uh, elbows down. Re-engage the lower core, then lift your arms and your legs up and flutter kick your arms and legs. If it's too much for your shoulders, just place your hands under your forehead. You wanna keep that pelvis still. So if you feel like you're rocking a lot, make the movement smaller. And then bring the hands under the forehead, lower the legs, relax. Let's go back into a child's pose. Stretch the back out. Then let's come up to all fours. We're going to do the knee covers. And we'll tuck the toes under. Engage the inner core. Glide the ribs together in the front. Push the floor away. Try to push away with the whole rim of your palm. So you have the, the whole ball of the hand and then around the palm evenly. And as you exhale, push into the floor so much that you can lift your knees up just an inch off the floor. Keep pushing the floor away. And then lower the knees down with control. Do it again. Set the core first. Push the floor away. Cover the knees. And lower them down with control. Again, anchor, push the floor away. And release. Let's do it one more time. Press the floor away. And release. Okay, we're going to come down onto the elbows. Interlace your fingers. Take that bottom pinky inside. So we have our elbows directly underneath our forearm, and we're going to go to a plank. Set the core, the belt and your ribs knitting together. Push into the forearms, straighten one leg out, keep anchoring and straighten the other leg out, and then let's stay in hover. Think of the feet and the crown of the head moving away from each other. Really draw your ribs in, feel your belt securing so your lower back does not sag. Push your elbows down into the floor so you don't sink into the space between the, the shoulder blades. And keep anchoring, lower one knee down, and then the other one. 
Then we're going to go into a child's pose. Keep your arms where they are for a moment. Feel the stretch along the sides of the body. Now keep the elbows where they are and bend your uh, arms so that you can place your hands at the back of the head or at the base of the neck. Your elbows are still down. Hands on your upper back or the back of the head. Feeling a stretch in the back of the armpits. Release the arms out. Now we're going to come to all fours. If you have a blanket or a pillow, grab that. And you're going to come to all fours with your hands right on the outside of the blanket. Now we're going to slide our left knee forward and the right leg back. And then bend the elbows so that the forehead can come down to the blanket. Your elbows should be up off of the mat. Elbows are close to the sides of the body. And then as you exhale, engage your core, push the floor away. So straighten the arms. And then bend the arms with control and lower back down. And if you can't get all the way down to the blanket, it's fine. Try to keep good form. In your core, don't collapse in your shoulders. Straighten the arms and lower back down. Knitting the ribs together. And if you're doing fine there, we're going to try it with one arm. If you want to keep doing it with both arms, you can. You can bend the arms and bring your left hand to your lower back. And push away, straightening just the right arm. Try to keep the shoulders and the hips level. Are you beginning to feel something in the back of the right arm? It's not so easy to get to the tricep, so here's a way. All right, bring your left hand back in line next to the blanket. We're going to come back up onto all fours. And for a moment, go to a child's pose. And then back to all fours again. So we have our hands on the outside of the blanket. We're going to slide the right knee forward. Send the left leg out behind you. And then bend the arms. Engage the core. So the forehead is aiming towards the blanket. Your elbows are bent but pointing behind you off of the mat, and exhale, push the floor away to straighten the arms, and bend, and push the floor away, and bend. Stay in the core as you release that bend. Good, and we're going to do five more if you want to. Do the single arm, right hand comes behind the back. Or you can stay with the double arms, that's fine. If you're doing the double arms, make sure that you're um, not letting your right arm take over. Okay, and then let's move the blanket out of the way. Move into child's pose. Try taking your arms down by your sides. Uh, if your head doesn't get to the floor, then you can use your blanket there, but Relax down with your arms down at your sides, palms face up. Okay, we're going to do a quick abdominal series. Those come out to the back. Find your neutral. Relax in neutral for a moment. Engage the inner core, knit and imprint the ribs, keep the hips and lower back steady as you right, lift the right foot, and then the left. Knit the ribs, lift the head, both hands to one leg, 
and then the other leg goes straight. Bend one leg and both hands go to that leg, other leg straight, and we sit. Single leg stretch, guiding the leg straight in and out, chin into the chest, elbows high and wide, shoulders dropped. And then to the double leg, bend both knees, one hand on each knee. Exhale, reach away from the center, keeping your neutral spine. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, away from center, ribs stay imprinted. Inhale, back in. Reach away from the center, chin into the chest the whole time. Now keep both legs straight, take one up and one down, and scissor them. You can pull the leg in at the thigh or the calf. Elbows bent, shoulders drop, chin into the chest. Bend both legs up, hands behind the head. Re-engage your core, knit and imprint, and lower the legs a little bit down. Neutral spine in place, lift the legs back up. And a little down, and up, not too far. Please keep that neutral spine in place. The lower you go, the more you need to knit and imprint. And then bend the knees and let's crisscross. Bicycle the legs. Reach across in the diagonal. Armpit towards the bending knee. And bring your knees to your chest. Head down, relax the neck and shoulders. Turn the head from one side to the other. One more little arm stretch here. Bring your feet down to the floor. Find your neutral spine. Take a fist. Engage your inner core. Knit and imprint the ribs. Keep your arms completely straight as you raise them up. Keep them completely straight. Keep your ribs down. Stretch your arms back behind you. Make sure your back ribs really stay down on the mat and pull your shoulder blades to your back pockets as you reach behind you with straight arms. Notice if your fist made it to the floor. Come back up. If it did, stick your thumb out, hitchhike, anchor the core, keep the back ribs down, arms straight, and reach back. Pull your shoulder blades down to your back pockets. Notice if your thumb hit the floor. If it did, we're gonna to go to straight palms. If it didn't, keep that position. This time I want you to turn your, uh, if you have your palms straight, your feet are gonna turn in the direction of your feet. Anchor and reach back. Straight elbows, wrist, fingers, knitting the ribs, keeping your neutral spine, pulling your shoulders down your back. So you have the fingertips reaching one way, but the shoulder blades pulling down towards your sit bones. Big stretch in the back. And then tilt the arms up. And relax them down. We'll turn to one side and come up to a standing position. We're going to bring the arms in front of us so that the elbows are touching, the palms are touching. Find a supported standing position. And first, keeping the elbows together, reach up towards the ceiling, and then lower back down. So keep the elbows together, get the ribs together, reach up to the ceiling, and lower back down. A couple more times. Reach up, and lower back down. Last one, come halfway down, and then windshield wipe, arms from side to side, keep the elbows together. And then release the arms down, let them hang for a moment. And we're gonna raise the arms to shoulder height, and do some internal, external rotation, so we're first going to make a fist, curl the fingers in tight, and then pull your knuckles into the inner elbow. So you're bending the outside of your wrist, and at the same time, roll your arms in in the socket. So you're rolling around as inward as you can. Now we're going to reverse all of that. Roll the arms out in the sockets, open the fingers, tilt the wrists back as you externally rotate. Let's see if you can see my arms. I'm going to curl in, roll in. And roll out the fingers open, bend your wrists back, lift the chest. And roll in. 
Make sure you're bending at the wrist so the wrist is stretching too. And roll out, open the chest, one more time. And then relax. And let's finish with one more gentle external rotation of the arms. And release. Fall through the crown of the head. Roll out. And release. One more time. Relax. All right, there you go. Off you go. Hope you're feeling good and strong. Um, let me know if you have a TheraBand. We might use TheraBand next week. Um, see Tracy and Victor here. I think you do. Um, if anyone's watching who needs one, let me know. All right, great to see you. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.